Welcome back to my channel, it's Rona Marcus. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And if you're new to my channel, please do me that favor and press that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly, really do appreciate this. So guys, today what I've actually got for you guys is something so quick, so easy, but I want you guys to know this. So a lot of questions have been coming into my email and comments down below. And I just think, you know what, in other, instead of me replying to that email, and I know I'm gonna get more and more and more, why not do a video and explain in full details so that you guys will get to understand things that you need so that you can prep for them before you actually go to the Gambia so that you already have an idea of what you would need and the processes of building a home in the Gambia. Of course your dream home, whether it's a mud house. And I heard that mud houses are actually bulletproof. Um, so, which is really good. I, well, I think I knew that because my dad told me that before, but I think I kind of like forgot. So when someone commented on the comment box, I'm like, mm, okay that's good that's very handy to know so these are the things that you need to know so I'm gonna go right into it I think it's like eight different things so stay tuned grab a glass of wine or glass of water or juice the first procedure for building a house in the Gambia is to get a property plan drawn up by an architect you can of course get an architect outside of the Gambia to do this for you however you must remember there are special techniques, regulations and specifications for a tropical climate and the construction materials may also differ. The second step is to get your house plan approved by physical planning department in Banjul which should include the area of your land. You should take at least three copies of your plans when submitting your application form. There is a fee payable based on the number of square meters of your house. The law requires that you get a permit as well for your fence and boys quarters. The boys quarters can actually be for maids and also watchmen, which means security. The third step is to build your fence around your land. This is necessary for security and establishes your physical boundaries according to your plans. You don't want to start your bungalow and find out halfway through that you are partly erecting it on someone else's property. Please note that you should build your fence exactly according to your plans and that there is a minimum distance allowed where a road separates two different plots. You can find out this, the minimum legal distance from the land office in Banjul. If you are building your own home, then make sure that the boys quarters is built first. This allows you to have several rooms in which to store your supplies and tools for security. You could of course buy a container and keep your materials there. This is perhaps the best option and you can always sell the container when you have finished building. Containers can be purchased from the Gambia shipping agency. Do take a photocopy of the watchman's ID card and make sure you know where he lives and that he is residing in the Gambia. Only employ a watchman who has been recommended to you. Don't give him access to any of the rooms and make sure to count items left outside such as steel reinforcement rods at the start and end of the day, which you would confirm with him. Try to get the house plan quantified by a quantity surveyor. This will give you a rough idea as to the quantity of materials you need to buy to build the structure of your house. 
it should give you a rough idea of the cost of constructing but it doesn't usually include finishing like fans and bathroom fittings this you can easily do yourself by visiting several building materials suppliers and shops Prices of materials are always rising in the Gambia's construction industry, so try to buy in bulk. You don't always have to take bulky the items, such as cement, with you the same day. Just make sure that you keep the receipt and you can collect when you need them. Caution! Please note that you should only buy from large, repeatable companies who may perhaps give you this facility also note that the company may also go bankrupt and you could lose your money if you don't want to employ the services of a laborer or materials contractor who buys and provides all the necessary gadgets and tools to build the house for you then you might want to consider employing a laborer only contractor whatever you do make sure you get a contract drawn up by a solicitor and signed by both parties. Do make sure that you employ the services of a storekeeper who records all materials coming in and all building supplies coming out on a daily basis. Make sure that all deliveries are signed for. If you wish to employ a full turnkey contractor, then get a contract drawn up by a conveyance solicitor in the Gambia. This is vital for your own protection and make sure that you tender the contract out to a number of interested contractors first. Be aware that the Gambian builders will often try to load most of the cost of the construction at the early stage of the agreements build of quantities. Avoid this if you can as the finishing perhaps tends to be the most expensive and, sh and should he or she failed midway through you can minimize your potential losses. So guys after watching this how do you feel? Do you still feel like you want to come to the Gambia? Of course yes I know you do. <laughs> So yes, so these are the main things that you need to know when planning to visit the Gambia to build your dream home. And I hope that this information that I've actually provided will help you, will go a long way. If I've missed out anything and you actually want to ask me any more information, please do not hesitate to email me. Sometimes I do reply straight away, like straight away. Sometimes I can take a couple of days before replying, but don't worry darling, I will still reply back because you know your bay running my post always got your back just like you do. <laughs> so I think that is it. So I'm off for now, but I'll be back soon. So goodbye and I love you guys. You guys already know this, right? I think we need to create a song for me so that I'll be singing that song whenever I start my video. How about that? My voice is not all that. But I think I can try. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I've said enough. So, goodbye.